Hey guys, what's going on? It's Prince from you back at you in another video. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing set 75280, which is the 51st Legion Clone Trooper, it's also known as the 51st Battle Pack. This set came out in 2020 and has around about 280 pieces and 6 minifigures, although that depends if you count droids as minifigures. I do count droids as minifigures, so I would count them as part of the 6, but you might not, so you might call it 4 minifigures. Or five if you count two droids as one. But yeah. So as far as builds go, we've got the five first bark speeder. We've never got a bark speeder in five first colours before, but we have got bark speeders before and bark speeders with sidecars before. And then the five first ACRC, which this is a D-sized version. It's a lot smaller than the original version from 2013, which I don't have a copy of, so I won't be able to show you the size difference, but it's quite a bit smaller. And features a stud shooter as the weapon instead of the flip fire missile that the original had. So first, we'll look at the box. So the box is very nice. The planet in the background, I'm not really sure. I can't really remember what planet that is. But I believe it's from Clone Wars Season 7. Or it might be that planet from Season 5 near the end of the series. I can't remember the name of. But yeah. So down here we can see the clones, jet troopers and droids in that area. Then... Got the ATRC and a little bit of a battle going on. Got the Lego Star Wars with that white texturing, the bricks, and the 332nd Trooper because it's a Clone Wars set. They try to keep that consistency, but they don't always. And on the back, so we can play in the Lego Star Wars game, the Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga, which has been delayed again if you didn't already know. And then, as you can see here, this is where you open it the fun boxes and fun tags. So and there's a bit more of this battle it seems that the droids have lost but yeah that's going to wrap up the box and now we're going to get into the figure the four clones in the set are exclusive to the set but the five first trooper was originally released in 2013 but this is an updated version with a more realistic style still not the best it doesn't have any arm printing or side leg printing but if we take a look at the jet trooper which is what we're looking at here it's you can it differs from the regular trooper it has the red markings on the helmet different chest torso different test print and it also features blue arms whereas regular ones have white arms as you can see this clone on the box has white arms yeah the legs are identical though and the blaster is the short mid medium range blaster and on the back there is a just a little jetpack in blue nothing out of the ordinary i don't know if that jetpack's come in blue before but it doesn't look too strange it looks quite similar then the front has the updated clone face with a more flesh colour to sort of make it more realistic to Django Fett and Boba Fett in the Clone Wars and in Attack of the Clones and Tomorrow Morrison in Revenge of the Sith. So that is the 5-1st Jet Trooper. Now we'll go on to the 5-1st regular trooper. So there are three 5-1st clones but two of them are identical as you can see here. This one only differs from the blaster it has. It has a longer blaster with the candle piece from Harry Potter in black to make it look like some sort of um, blaster attachment. So as far as the prints go, it's a fairly regular print. No hip prints, all side leg prints, as I said earlier, all side arms, no jaw molding, but a fairly nice toe print that I didn't have in the 2013 version. Then if you spin it round, um, same back print on all three of the clones because they're all identical with the prints. And of course, they both they all have the helmet piece. Sorry, the helmet's not going. The headpiece, that's um, the flesh headpiece based off Tomorrow Morrison's appearance in Revenge of the Sith. So, that will wrap up the clones. Now we'll get into the droids. So, the droids, you've probably all seen a Lego droid before. They are both identical. There's no alternate markings. It's just a plain tan droid with a mid range blaster. Same pieces that they always use, they haven't changed up the droids since 2007. So they're all pretty the same, nothing special about these figures. Now we'll move on to the builds of the set. So I'll talk about the fire first, um, bark speeder first. So it has a very nice design, I'll show you for you, very nice design. But we'll start from the top, so there is a sticker here, which is fairly easy to put on, but I did align it a bit wonky, which is as you can see there. Then I like the uses of the sledge ski pieces on the sides. The stud shooters, a lot of people complain about them, mine are a bit dusty, just brushed off. But you can mod them out if you want, it's your choice. I just keep them on there, I'm not really 
fussed about them because I won't be using this for play, I'll be using it for display. But I mostly for now just keep it in a box until unless I have a mock that I'm working on, which I am actually working on a mock. I will post the video on that soon. So the controls here, you just get your clone. Just, sorry. Just get your clone and put him in. I'll just get this clone here. So this guy will take his blast off, put that on the floor, and I'm oh, sorry, the table, and then put him in that seating position, fold these out and put him in, then make him sit backwards, just needs to rest his back, then clip these little um, tap pieces into his hands, and there you go, you've got very nice looking, I think it's a very nice fit, it looks very good, I'm a massive fan of this box beater, I don't think they could have done it any better, except maybe Prince, because these stickers were very hard to put on, so Prince there would have been appreciated, I like this, Everything about this looks good. Be careful with these, they can move a lot. So that's just something to note. Back's a bit dusty, that's my fault. But yeah, there's not much to say about the box video. It's a pretty good set. So now we'll move on to the ATRT. The ATRT is a very nice build. It has these tall like stick pieces and staff pieces on the top. Then in the control panel, you can see there's a control. And they've clipped the handle on so that it won't fall off when you move your clone off because of the angle it's been put on. Sticker that says five first on the side, same on the other side. I'll show you that there. More stickers down here, all very simple. And stud shooter, which a lot of people complain about, but again, you can mod it up if you want. Foot design is very nice with these little pieces here and all of that detail, very good. Just spin it around. Another sticker on the side. There's just lots of stickers and stuff. Then if you swivel around to the back, you can store binoculars and guns there. I just took them off and put them in my boxes for those separate accessories, but if you want to do that, that's cool. It's completely up to you. But yeah, so the build is fairly nice. We'll put a clone in now to show you how it works. You get the long range clone, as he's the one who uses it in the, um, in the box. But in real Star Wars, it would be an ARF trooper or an ATRC driver using this you see these in the umbara arc so if you're building an umbara mock then this would be very nice so as you can see you whoops you have to be careful with these legs they can fall out of position but as you can see he's in the place then you just need to get his hands in sorry messed up the legs but as you can see he's holding that and that's pretty good and if you want to you can get his blaster and all I've done is I've just stuck it on the back just for to make it look a bit more um sorry fixing the legs just to make it look a bit more nice and yeah very nice design lovely build so now we'll get into the fun about it so despite um, the price of a not normal not being a usual battle pack it's £25, because most of them will be £12, £25 slash $30. It still adds the collectability and army building possibilities of the uh, normal battle pack, and it's by the imagination. It's great to see LEGO releasing more clone sets over the last few years, and hopefully they will keep that up over the, all the rumours of Saw Gerrera, and, sorry, not Saw Gerrera, Gar Saxon, the Mandalorian Starfighter, Jaw Mandalore, and the Bad Batch Shuttle for this summer. But yeah. If you enjoyed this review, then please leave a like. Tell me in below, have you got this set? How many copies have you got? And I'd also love to know if you guys would subscribe, because I'm so close to 100 subs. I'm on 92 right now, and the subscribers will mean the world to me. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.